calling you a radical. Fukushima. Day 3000. The salmon. Epic. Epic class. Got a lot of really cool, great. Well, not cool. Devastating. Sad. Information. That's a, what a spring on the Columbia should look like. Somebody sent, Tim sent me that. Martin. Hope this helps get the Great Salt Lake guide boat. Fukushima Day 3000. Never caught a paper fish. Trump spends Memorial Day with Hirito's the Baton Death March. <laughs> Fuck, can you imagine Fox News if that would have been Obama? Of course, Obama covered up Fukushima too. So here we go. Real important was your fucking crown. Oh, it's cold. So at Monterey Bay, I talk about a cliche, Monterey Bay starfish. So the salmon, I mean, it's on the verge of extinction. It's collapsed fucking. My number 180 might even be high. It's a catastrophe still fishing. So wait till you hear this one. By the way, could someone tell the LA Times, San Francisco Chronicle, can they teach them how to count to 10? It's like the IA, can you teach them how to count to 7? Oh, Fukushima's just a 7. Who sets the scale at 1 to 7? Fucking. So, the, uh, my gray well counts. Above 150. We're getting four, five, six a day. My army's reporting to me from the Baja to Alaska to the Bering Sea. Their collapse starvation in earnest. The Chinook salmon collapse. Wait till you hear this. So, my friend who owns the old hotel at PG, not PB, in Pacific Grove. And Monterey, the cliche, the theme park, California theme park, Monterey Bay, a cliche, starfish, a museum piece, youngest thing, it took Florence, Italy, fuck 1200 years to become a fuck cultural theme park, California, not even cultural, just a theme park, so, I'm like, what the fuck, how come it's fucking so packed? The golf tournament's not yet. The music festival, not. I says, well, fuck. He says, these fucking commercial fishermen. What? So, and I knew this, that California, so here's what you're doing in California. Raising Chinook salmon. This is the fraud. This is the fraud that's going on in the fish industry. Anybody that's eating anything out, you're out of your fucking mind. Farm raised, I mean, it's all toxic. So they released 1,200 juvenile, or excuse me, 120,000 juvenile salmon in the Monterey Bay. What? Juvenile. They're not smolter fries. So, commercial fishing's closed in Oregon, in Washington. So, not fucking... Or California will do anything for revenue. Anything. Day 3,000. The cover-up of Fukushima, the greatest fucking ecological catastrophe, the great Pacific genocide. They will do anything for fucking profit. Where's your Diablo Canyon? You can park your RV across the street from the nuclear reactor at fucking Homer Simpson on Chemo on Balco from the nuclear reactor. Sixty fucking dollars a night to park your RV across from the nuclear reactor. That's acting. It's leaking. It's radiating. So I'm like, what the fuck? He says, there's 800 fucking boats down here in fucking Carmel. What? Ooh, what's that smell, honey? What's that smell? It's a dead well in Carmel. I don't like it. Let's cut up with the chainsaw, throw it in the dump. Gray wells, the spirit. We've lost all connection with the ecology. All. No, I, I mean, I'm blown away eight years, 3,000 days of this. The one thing that it blows me away is the total disconnection with your life, with your spirit, with your, everyone, everyone. I mean, our small, teeny army, of course, people that, a lot of people, thin skin, 
you're so vain you probably think this video is about you. And our army, they get it. Our army's the greatest. The post ignorance army's the greatest. We are few, they are many. So I said, what the fuck? 800 fucking boats in California commercial. In Carmel and Frank. 800 commercial fishing vessels. Eight, what? There's no way it can even handle. I was down there from everywhere, fucking just raping the fish. You know, what's left? Monterey Bay is protected, supposedly. Of course, they let the well petters out. Jail the well petters. Jail the well petters. Lock up the well petters. You know, fucking gray babies getting eaten. Monterey Bay, yay! We're a hypocrite. I'm a greenwasher. Yay, backstabber, smile on your face. I mean, I'm going to be the next Bill Eugenics fucking Gates business partner. Fucking Gray Wells, fuck, what's that smell in Carmel? Uh, most, not most, a lot of my biggest fish type of words that are right there. Up and down that Monterey Peninsula. Like, I know it like no other, you know. So they're farm raising, they're telling you, then they're releasing Chinook in the bay, then they come down there and hurry and catch them and go into the fucking world market as wild caught Pacific fucking Chinook salmon. Oh yeah, I'm not kidding. And so, 800. This is the manufactured fucking ecology. They're trying to fucking... This is insane. I mean, this is... I mean, he takes the cake. I mean, it's it's epically collapsed. The Chinook salmon, the gray whales, the two most howl spiritual creatures of them all. Of course, they fucking killed natives. Pass out the smallpox fucking markets. Get a fucking well at Disneyland. A salmon at the theme park at Hanford. Let's be Trump. And sumo wrestle. They say we're free. They say we're free. That's what they say about you and me. They say we're free. What's that smell, honey? I don't like it. Ooh, ooh, what's that smell? I feed my, at the market in Carmel, I like to go to get the gourmet steaks to feed the Fifi and Fufu walking over the dead bodies at my feet. Ooh, it's a dead well in Carmel. Where'd you sleep last night? Don't you fucking lie to me. I slept in the dead fucking pines at Big Sur, the fucking border with the elephant fucking seals relocated to Point Reyes. They're starving to death. Well, the sun from Fukushima, Japan, for real. Oh, it always shines. Monterey Bay. A cliche. California theme park. Starfish, a museum piece. You fucking did it. The generations have killed the sea. Fukushima's gonna kill you. Don't you see that? Fukushima's gonna kill you. Fukushima is millions of Chernobyl's and Chernobyl's all that, then some. Go America team. Mission Bay accomplished. Who would have believed it? I mean, I wrote this on 10 10 10. Let's see if I can find it. Post ignorance, the brain in pure fucking data form. I said, uh, let's see. I said that if we didn't pivot, 10, 10, 10, it would swallow us whole. That was the teabagger fucking Congress. Their last crown and jewel is to euthanasia, not even euthanasia, to murder sea lions. 
So now they're coming out and saying that calling of the Kamarat was one of the biggest mistakes in e ecological catastrophes in history. <laughs> what what will they think of next? I see posters as a pure art movement in the concept of of art itself, in the concept of artist culture, in the concept that people are culture, in the concept that inspiration influenced the great historical artists like Van Gogh, Amelie, like Pollock's reference to Kandinsky, like Monet's To the Sunlight, Morning, Dawn, Winter, Fall, Summer, Spring. It is influenced by the involvement of the time. My look at a culture and culture are there of today, economics, theory, popular culture, art of more, reality, the lack thereof, the art. The mind of seeing when others, for some cognitive reason, do not see. Everyone saw light from millenniums. Everyone saw simple line from millenniums. Everyone saw eclectic color from millenniums. It is more per se than the artist. Monet saw the light. Millet saw the struggle. Van Gogh saw the line. Smithson saw the simplicity of the line and the shape against the landscape. Kinski saw the election of color and shape. Pollock saw the color of dynamics in motion, but much more than that. They saw it decades ahead of the truth. Their minds saw fact and truth. Their minds were strong enough to act upon what they understood when all others did not understand, not yet. They, they had strong backs and knew how to work. They were the purification of ambition, intelligence, education, smooth with work ethic. I visualize it happened for two decades via my hawk and trial, via my keyboard, via my paintbrush, via my cardboard $3 throwaway fucking camera, via my flip video camera, via my soapbox, YouTube, via my websites as this. Poetic injustice to the entire world, wars without provocation, pain without a crime, love without an, an, love without an artistic spirit, spirit, ignorance with a club, a big club. As a counter, what I have termed neo-ignorance is post-ignorance. I see post-ignorance like this. A movement of pure intellectualism. In a broad intellectualism. Not I know art history. Not I know how to draw like a camera. Not I know how to interpretate. And not I know how to incorporate. But I know culture. I know environments. In the most exposed manner. I know economics. I know geopolitics. I know metaphors, good and bad. I know struggle and what it feels like to be stolen in wealth and art, artistic and belevolent. I have painted in this movement for over 20 years. I've designed in this mindset for 20 years. I've used the color in this mindset for 45 years. I've written this mindset for 20 years. I've plastered in this mindset for 34 years, 135 days. It was grounded into my back, into grounded into my brain, and through my hawk and trial over a used, broken, twisted, scarred, impassioned by the 10,000 job plaster jobs I've done, fueled by the pain of watching the death of my father nuked to death in the rabbit test I loaded into a freaking body bag with a mind on fire by Picasso or Dolly or Melville. His mind has died, its fire and sharpness like a grass fire killed by the American ignorance. Atomic veteran drafted via spite and hate, a competitive ugly people by the scars and the severed tongue by the byproduct of a mythological idealism that joy comes from the exploitation of a brown person or grounded in by the crushed face of the scar across my face. I will stop there. Influence. Before I get cancer, I got cancer on 11 11. Went into the bone marrow transplant on 11 11 11. And my leukemia. Born on the 4th of fucking July, Ricardo Ricci. Go fucking team. Go team America. Go USA. He made me life down in green pastures. He leadeth me side still waters. He restore my soul. He leadeth me to paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Thou art with me. The rod and the staff may comfort me. What a journey this has been for 3,000 days. Who would have believed it? I wrote that before I got cancer, before Fukushima happened. Where's your crown? Where's your crown? Where's your crown?
dedicate the 3,000 years of my work to in the room next to me in the bone marrow transplant. He lived so others, he died so others could live. He and I went in the same time. We had to make a choice in the bone marrow transplant at the same time. You can Google him. Marsha Jensen. My little grandson's the same age as his. Big Brother learns a valuable lesson from a positive thinking little girl with leukemia about gratitude, attitude, and looking beyond himself in a world in which we are truly are so lucky to live. Inspired by Marsha Jensen, the world's most positive and loving leukemia fighter, he will be missed. All proceeds of the purpose are dedicated to AJ and Kez, Marsha's beautiful. There beside you, where I used to lay. What an ugly, horrible fucking journey it's been. I've learned about a lot about people in these 3,000 days. They're horrible. Disturbing. Maybe you and have to be the worst fucking group of humans you ever fucking met. Always been this way, inevitable. Nope. This bad. When the echo boomers and the baby boomers are all dead and gone, the sooner the better. I hate to say that, but it's fucking true. It's a generation that fucking killed the sea. Got a win there. Small one. Where do we go from here? The fight was on. Get it out of me. Get this evil earth fucking monsters. This contemporary culture selfish pigs kill for the fucking sea of the economy. Get the fuck out of me. Take them, send them to fucking hell. Get those dead gray wells. The starfish in the sea. The gray wells. The Chinook salmon. Fight for her, the sea, we from the sea. She fight for we from the sea. Our spirits will soar with the postage of Prince Army.